Today we're gonna to be making a butcher block out of two by fours for a small little desktop. So let's get into it. So yes, we're gonna be converting some scrap two by fours into an awesome butcher block. Now, pine two by fours is a soft wood, so I would not recommend this for like a countertop or anything that you're going to be, you know, really beating on or, you know, cutting into or any anything like that. Uh, we're just using a, this for a small desktop, so it's not really gonna see a ton of wear or impact or anything. So we're gonna start off by using the table saw to get rid of the rounded edges. Two by fours, all four corners are kind of rounded, so we're gonna cut those off just to give us a square edge. So we took about an eighth inch off both sides of the two by four, so we got some square corners and everything now. So pretty much when we, basically we did that, so when we butt these up, there's not gonna be a, a gap in there. And then we're gonna cut them, by, I think about an inch and a half wide, so we're gonna have a true square. Now we just gotta come all to an inch and a half so we get like a square block. Um, we'll take a bunch of those then and actually butt them up to each other in kind of staggering uh, lines so that we can make the length that we need with the smaller pieces that we have. So once we have all the pieces, we're going to glue it all up. So we'll just take a paintbrush and some glue and wipe the surfaces that'll contact each other. And then we're gonna need some clamps to just kind of compress the whole thing in so that it's all tight and nice. All right, so it's all clamped up. It's looking pretty good. There are some cracks in here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see some. Some cracks are a little bit bigger than I would have liked them to be. Um, and I don't know if that's just a fact of not pulling them tight enough or, I mean, probably mainly just the cuts aren't exactly the straightest. But it's looking pretty good so far. Some of the edges might stick out um, and we might have to cut some of the pieces of wood to get it to fit right. But we're gonna glue it all up first and then we'll go through and cut it. So we didn't end up putting it in the planer, we just hit it with the orbital sander to get it all level. But uh, it made the color all kind of uniform. We also squared up the edges with the chop saw and it is looking amazing. Now all our top edges are still uh, sharp edges so we're gonna round that off with a router. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. A pretty simple process for an awesome butcher block. The concept's the same if you were to use a different wood. Uh, it actually turned out really great, so I'm happy with how it looks. But I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.